Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee, and today I'm going to show you a tool that I wish I had during the filming of the disassembly and reassemble of the AR-15. Before we begin, this rifle has already been cleared. You can see I have a chamber flag in place, there's nothing in the chamber, and also there's nothing in the magwell, and there's no ammunition in this area. During the filming, we showed you the removal of the handguards, and we did it with this tool. I had to put fuel lines on my tool because it was leaving marks on everybody's slip rings. And the way this tool works is very simple. You put it in the magwell, pull back, and it pulls that slip ring back so I can work with hand guards. So you pull it out, and everything's tight. I received the tool in the mail for evaluation. I did not buy it. It was given to me for free. And I really do like it. It is the Delta Quick. Now, the way this works is it slides up into the magwell, and as you crank this, it pulls the slip ring back. And it works just by loading it into your gun and cranking it back. And you can see here, now I can work on my hand guards. I can work on one handed. And then you crank it back, slip ring falls back and you're done. Now this tool is new, it's tight, and the way you pull it out is right there, you push on the mag release, and you can see I'm cranking on this thing pretty hard. I don't believe this is a design flaw, I just think it's a new tool, it's tight. So when that happens, I just push in on the mag release, and it comes out. Let's talk about this tool really quick. I do like it, I do recommend it, and I wouldn't recommend it unless it's something that I would go out and buy and put into my toolbox. The biggest reason why I like this is that my hands do get tired from working on guns, and when they do get tired and I'm working on those hand guards, sometimes just holding onto this, my hands and my wrists get really tired and really fatigued, where this kind of solves that problem. Now, even though I do like it and do recommend it, there are some things that I wish it did. Is Number one, I wish that the block extended out. So that way you could use it as a vice block as well. Now, in the vice block, you'll see in the videos that this will be clamped into my vice and then my AR goes onto it. So that way I can work on the gun and have both hands free. Now, I think if they were just to extend that block a little bit, then you could use this as a vice block. The other thing that I wish is that there would be some type of attachment you could put on the back of it and use this for an AR-10. This is only for the AR-15, so it would be nice if I could use it for both rifles. Other than that, I still really like this tool um, you know, it is tight like I showed you. I can see some wear in here from the slip ring. I think the tightness is just going to go away with use, but I do see this in my toolbox for a long time. Stop by DeltaQuick.com and see if this tool is worth being in your toolbox. If you find our videos helpful, consider supporting us for free by using our affiliate links and banners on our site or by donating to us on Patreon. Please remember to subscribe to our channel it helps us more than you realize. Thank you for watching. Visit trb.fyi for additional content on this video. You can also support us on Patreon and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.